Here's a little um, view of my somewhat refitted office. Um, I used to have three of these really unstable plastic shelf units. Uh, the one I just showed you and then I'd have two more over here. They were so bad that the um, my component drawers, this lot over here, were making the plastic sag in the middle. So eventually my favourite little shop, Lidl's, or Lidl's, I don't know how you pronounce it, had these steel units. Okay, they're not the most refined because they tend to be a little bit sharp. But they do come with these caps that very rarely fit on top. And they're supposed to take, a, I think it was 150 kilos per shelf. Some staggering amount of weight. And they're really doing a great job. I wish I'd bought one more to replace this old plastic thing. This one. Um, but as you can see, because I can't because I keep moving the camera, that they are very very stable even if I shake them around a bit nothing moves and there is absolutely no sign of any sagging along here the units fit perfectly without being jammed because of the bending of the shelf all in all all in all they're very good units uh, I think they what were they 15 pounds a piece something like that not too expensive really, Consider I've seen similar products for £30-£35 pound a piece. Um, of course since I've reorganised everything I have no idea where anything is anymore. But every time I need to find something it's a whole exploration. Um, Not much else to say really. It's quite warm in here at the moment. But that's because of the insulation Rob and I put up around the building inside. Um, and here's one of my GoPro clones. And there's the other one. Of course I have no idea if you can actually see these because... Well maybe if I put this down. Yeah there you go look. There's one of them. And here's another identical model. Oh, and by the way, I've since found these things on eBay for under £16 for the exact same model and the exact same contents. The boxes may have looked a little bit different, but everything was the same inside the box so I'm sure if you search now you'll probably find them for probably 14 13 quid which is what well, way under twenty dollars anyhow which is a really really good price for what they do okay well something flashing on my camera and I think it's because the battery may be going flat so I'm gonna say sayonara